Hello guys, this is Avinash and welcome to Everything Metallurgy. So after a long time with this video, I am bringing you the major changes that IIT Bombay has uh, announced just within few minutes or few hours today. So basically we all know that uh, GATE 2021 is being conducted by IIT Bombay this time and today IIT Bombay has released information brochure so that it made clear about what all are the changes and also the best thing is it also made some changes in its syllabus so the syllabus has now been revised so watch uh, so in this video we'll also discuss about what changes they are talking about so firstly we come to important dates what are the dates that we have uh, for the gate 2021 so basically we know that uh, first week and second week saturday sunday will be there of february every year will be gate exam but this time they came up with six different days so friday saturday sunday of first and second week of every february will be gate exam and of course disclaimer this will be a tentative uh, schedule as you can see here that covid 19 situation can change all the plans over here okay now what are the application dates so application timeline so here the date of application is starting on 14th september 2020 and uh, it will run till 30th september without any extra fees okay so as you can see regular online registrations will be done till 30th september whereas they gave an extended period for registration with late fee as you can see here till 7th october okay so i'll just come to it how much is the fees and all so yeah here itself you can see per subject paper remember per one paper um for female scst or uh, physically dis uh, disabled category candidates the regular period that means from 30 i mean from 14 september till 30th september the fees will be 750 whereas during the late fee it is 1250 whereas for all the rest people 1500 is the regular period fee and the late fee is 2000 okay so as you can see here and one more important thing the one more important change that it bought is the eligibility so here you can see even third year students can give their gate exam which is i think which is a golden opportunity for third years okay so they can write two times now if at all they did not uh, do well in the first attempt don't worry be without even completing your btech itself you can give your second attempt also so that's a good thing now so yeah as i already said this is the important dates that we can see on the website so as i already mentioned so the registration is starting from 14 september till 30th september without any late fee but uh, you are getting an option for late fee also okay until 7th october so as i just said in this period from 14 to 38 the fee will be 1500 for all the candidates and 750 for female and uh, reserved candidates whereas from 30th to 7th october this will be 2000 rupees and uh, 1250 rupees okay so this is including late fee Okay. and this is a normal regular registration okay and again remember this is only for one paper and uh, you can write two different papers i'll just talk about it in the major changes what all changes we have come across in this year gate okay so the last date for change of category so this is also an important thing if you made any mistake in choosing your gate paper category or your city then with some additional fee what you can do is you can change it you can correct it till 13th of november okay and admit card will be out on 8th january okay and yeah as i already discussed now we are having six day gate exams okay so friday saturday sunday or first and second week of february and the announcement will be on 22nd march so the gate result will be coming out on 22nd march 2021 so this is about important dates now one major change they bought in this gate examination 2021 is that a student can write 
टू एग्जाम्स वॉट डू यू मीन बाई टू एग्जाम्स यू कैन चूज टू गेट पेपर्स ओके नाउ you uh, is there any restriction for that yes you have a restriction for our purpose so here you can see our metallurgical engineering so if you are choosing gate mt okay along with mt in combination with metallurgy gate paper you can take either physics that is ph or xc okay so what is xc so here you can see what all are the xc paper sections okay so xc paper has a uh, different categories so you can see here code a to h so basically code a is maths and rest will be 70% which is an optional okay any two optional sections you can choose either from fluid mechanics material science solid mechanics thermodynamics polymer science food technology atmospheric and oceanic sciences so this is the combination that is allowed for a metallurgy gate guy Okay, this is an important thing. You cannot choose like okay, I want to write metallurgy and computer science. No, that's not possible. Okay, so if you are choosing gate MT, you only have two choices. That is either physics, so which is here, okay, PH, and XC. Okay, either of these you can choose along with MT. This is one important change that uh, they brought about. Now. what is the mark so we know about marking also so we know that gate exam is for 100 marks out of which uh we have general aptitude section for 15 marks and the main paper which is nothing but your mathematics as well as your technical uh, core knowledge paper is consisting of 85 marks but here also they have bifurcated this in the website mentioning that in this also about 13 to 15 marks okay to be precise they mention 15 percentage at one page and 13 marks in other page so we don't know exactly but 13 to 15 marks will be of engineering mathematics okay and rest remaining 70 to 72 marks are your meta meta syllabus okay yeah usually this is not a big change because even in the previous years also you will be looking at at least 12 to 15 marks of mathematics so they just mentioned it out here okay previously they did not mention it out that's it okay now coming to the main changes so some of which we already have discussed but now we'll discuss about how the pattern of examination has been changed what all the changes they have um brought us so we have just discussed that yeah here you can see 15 marks general aptitude engineering mathematics of 13 marks and subject questions of 72 marks so this part we have just discussed uh, there are actually some other parts also so basically in some papers the distribution is different okay which we are not bothered right now and we know in 100 mark paper we have one mark questions we have two mark questions Okay, it did not change. It is an online test, computer-based test. It has three hours, and this time we have got two new papers. So previously we had twenty-five papers, and this time we have two new paper codes. Okay. Now, what are the two? So here you can see. So the two new are engineering science and engineer. Uh, sorry, environmental science and engineering, humanities and social sciences. These two are the new paper codes that they are conducting so that's why the total number of papers are 27 now uh, this is an important change that i want to talk about which is the type of question so previously we know that okay multiple choice questions we know that uh, we will be getting a question in which we have to choose a single option okay that will be there this also we know numerical answer type also we know not where we have to type ourselves what is the answer okay now what is this new thing multiple select question msq so basically if you remember je means are advanced this is picked up from them actually so this is nothing but you have 
मोर देन वन करेक्ट आंसर ओके मोर देन करेक्ट मोर देन वन करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी देयर आउट ऑफ हाउ मेनी फोर ऑप्शन ओके सो दिस इज वन थिंग विच इज एडेड इन टू गेट नाउ वॉट अबाउट पार्शियल मार्किंग और वॉट अबाउट नेगेटिव मार्किंग नो यू हैव नो पार्शियल मार्किंग एंड ऑल्सो नो नेगेटिव विच इज good thing for some people but yeah so here uh, you have no partial that means if you have three correct answers you only put one you will not get any partial marks and also of course you don't have any negative marks for not giving it uh, all the options okay so this is one thing new thing which is added in gate exam okay apart from this we all know one mark questions you have uh, 0.33 negative if it's wrong okay and two mark you have 0.66 okay which is common for uh, i mean which is there only for mcqs because even for nat also you don't have any negative marks okay so for mcqs you have to be careful because you have negative marks to it okay this is one big change and what are the questions to to test your abilities so which are nothing but recall comprehension application and analysis what are these so recall is nothing but just from your memory like how you just bring up some theory questions so directly you put in some process name or whatever okay so just bringing out from your memory uh, in one mark questions you find these recall comprehension so comprehension is nothing but like uh, thinking about your fundamental concepts okay from your basic uh, subjects and bringing that idea and solve some questions okay that is comprehension what is application so application is again nothing but numericals from the subject you bring in apply to the question and solve it and what is the final thing analysis and synthesis so using any diagrams using any graphs okay again you are solving it so these are pretty normal which uh, you find in every previous gate year okay so basically these are the major changes number 1 msq are coming in where you have more than one correct options and uh, one number 2 these msqs will have no partial marking and no negative marking okay this is some important changes that you have to remember now if you remember i said the syllabus is revised okay i think uh, many people has watched or watching this video to know this now i want to go to that so if you just compare the older syllabus paper and the new syllabus paper which they have released in the gate 2021 website everything is same except that in this new paper i mean uh, new syllabus everything is neat and elaborative that means they have split neatly okay what are the different areas what are the different topics you have to cover they have neatly given like uh, you can see here linear algebra calculus vector calculus differential equation okay so these are the six different chapters you can say or six different subjects i mean not subject but chapters you have to uh, cover for engineering mathematics okay this is common only you can find this even in older one now what is this elaboration i have talked i'm talking about so basically what they did is they split this whole part metallurgical thermodynamics and rate process is to be the previous part but what they did is they have split into these two section 2 plus section 3 used to be same previously okay but now what they did they have neatly separated so as you can see what is in thermodynamics loss of thermodynamics is there and in that what are the topics you have to cover and electrochemistry these two parts you have to cover under your metallurgical thermodynamics now everything is the same like uh, you have first law second law third law solutions you have uh, g versus x curves uh, yeah gibbs phase rule everything is the same but the thing is they have just bifurcated the syllabus okay even in electrochemistry now what i found actually here is in transport phenomena and rate process 
I think they will be focusing on this section more this time because the topics that you are cho uh, looking here are somewhat new even though uh, the side headings the momentum transfer you know heat transfer convection radiation mass transfer dimensional analysis okay chemical kinetics electrochemical kinetics so all these are the topics that you know already under rate process but what they did is they even elaboratively gave you what to study like in radiation black body radiation stephen boltzmann law kirchhoff's law this is something which you have to read so similarly so last time what was the case so all these combined okay they just used to give heat transfer but now they just elaborated so that it will be easy for student to know what to study and what not so this is a good thing that i found here now they renamed again uh, extractive metallurgy they renamed into mineral processing and extractive metallurgy basically in extractive metallurgy we do that only okay process the mineral or ore and extract the metal okay so here also they gave some basics okay basics of mineral processing now again they gave material balances energy balances okay which we have already covered in our previous videos okay uh, they gave iron and steel making uh, apart from this they al also gave alternative methods of iron making which are corex and midrex mentioned in the syllabus itself okay so um, uh, so i think uh, that's a point to be noted now again yeah in steel making also what they did is they again bifurcated like primary steel making is there secondary steel making continuous casting okay so this is from extract to metallurgy and the rest is the same like you know physical metallurgy you know what are the syllabus that you have bondings characterizations crystal structures diffusions phase transformation solidification solid state transformations heat treatments okay uh, properties of materials and some basics of corrosion okay and yeah this is also again classic mechanical metallurgy like stress tensors strain tensors so representation of more circle so these are some elaborative topics which they want to focus now okay so i think this part the tensor parts is somewhat new as compared to the previous um syllabus okay so dislocation theory is there strengthening mechanics um, fractures fatigue creep okay so all these are there fine so this is in mechanical metallurgy and finally in manufacturing also you know right casting is there uh, metal working is there metal joining is there powder metallurgy and ndt so uh, here what i meant to say is that you don't find big changes there are no changes okay but there are some important takeaways that you have to focus about is about the topics that are new first thing only few topics are new as i said okay or as i said the separated section the th from thermodynamics they have separated out right um, kinetics and rate process uh, transport phenomena and rate process so that section also you have to make a note of so that they may increase the weightage okay so this is the first time they are doing it so this is important change that you have to focus on so that's it guys this is about gate 2021 okay so start registering from september 14th okay all the very best and uh, also comment down some suggestions uh, with which we can proceed to make videos in our channel okay so thank you guys all the very best